unlock the potential of diabetes research by integrating Endo CBH5 into your laboratory. On receipt, immediately transfer the cryovial of Endo CBH5 to nitrogen storage. Avoid exposure to room temperature as far as possible. Make sure you store the associated products in accordance with their specifications. Before starting your experiments, the Ulti Beta 1 medium must be thawed overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. Before starting, ensure all products and equipment are ready. Thaw the beta coating reagent on ice and use it immediately to avoid polymerization. The beta coat should only be diluted with medium that has been pre-cooled to 4 degrees Celsius. Pipette the diluted beta coat slowly to avoid bubbles and polymerization. Quickly dispense it into your wells. Incubate the plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 1 to 6 hours. Before starting, ensure all products and equipment are ready. Transfer the cryovial from the nitrogen storage to the cell culture facility on dry ice. Depressurize the vial under laminar flow. Immediately thaw the cryovial for 1 to 2 minutes in a 37 degree Celsius water bath. It is crucial that thawing remains incomplete when adding medium to the cells. When the ice cube is approximately 1 cm high, remove the cryovial from the water bath. Dilute rapidly and gently with 1 ml of warm medium to limit exposure of the thawed cells to the freezing medium. Gently transfer the cell suspension to a new tube containing 7 milliliters of warm medium. Rinse the cryovial twice using 1 milliliter of medium each time to recover all the cells. Centrifuge. Gently resuspend the cell pellet by pipetting a maximum of two or three times. The initial rinse should be gentle but firm enough to dislodge the pellet.
After cell counting, add medium to get the appropriate cell concentration and proceed to seeding. Remove the coating reagent from the wells Homogenize the cell suspension by gently inverting the tube several times and proceed to seeding immediately. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius. Seeding density and homogeneity are very important. Check them under the microscope and compare them with the images in the manual. Before starting, ensure all products and equipment are ready. The medium should be changed gently four hours after plating and then every three to four days. The use of vacuum pump is strictly forbidden. Slowly add the medium by placing your pipette cone against the wall of the well, taking care not to touch the layer of cells. More than just human beta cell lines, Human Cell Design is a complete contract research organization specializing in diabetes from target validation to preclinical studies. We offer you a unique portfolio of translational and physiologically relevant in vitro assays to accelerate your research into new therapeutic solutions. More than a traditional CRO, you need a committed partner to accelerate your success. To find out more about the services offered by Human Cell Design, contact us at humancelldesign.com.